All right, so uh, seven o'clock. Uh, my name is uh, Jeffrey Mullen. I'm acting as the chairman of the uh, Board of Appeals at tonight's hearing on the application at 114 Gulliver Street in Milton. With me are Brian Conley and Nicholas Gray, members of the board. Be before we start, I'd, I'd like to introduce Bill Conley, who is our our our, uh, our new uh, um, uh, uh, Bill Donnelly. Bill Donnelly. I'm sorry. Our That's new, okay. As uh, much as I'd like to be Brian's cousin, it's Bill, Bill Donnelly, Brian Conley, and Bill Donnelly. Uh, our new uh, as, assistant who's going to help us with the uh, with the applications. Um, welcome uh, to the board, and and uh, we look forward to working with you, Bill. Same here. Okay. I I am uh, very excited about this. Thanks. Terrific. Okay. Um, so tonight's hearing is on the application uh, concerning the, the property at. 114 Gulliver Street, uh, pursuant to an application submitted by Glenn Hoffman on behalf of the property owner. I have in the file here uh, Mr. Hoffman's application. Uh, Mr. Hoffman is the is the architect for the property owner, who is uh, Mr. Sean Driscoll. Uh, with me, with in the included in the file is a letter from the Town of Milton Building Commission of Mr. Joseph Atchu denying uh, Mr. Hoffman's application for failure to comply with the left side yard setback and the right yard side yard setback as set forth in the in the zoning uh, in the in the zoning code um Mr. Atchu writes that the application fails to comply with the the setbacks uh, which are 10 10 feet in both respects with the left side having a 9.9 .9 feet of clearance and the right side having 8.6 feet of clearance instead of the 10 feet uh, required by the bylaw, Mr. Atchu advises Mr. Hoffman that he can seek a variance uh, uh, for relief of those requirements of the code, which uh, Mr. Hoffman has done in an application submitted to us in February. Now, uh, included with in the plans are a letter to the Zoning Board of Appeals dated February second, along with a site plan by Mr. Hennigan, Mr. Robert Hennigan, which is dated October twenty five. 2023, along with plans of a single family residence of 114 Gulliver Street, Milton, Mass, uh, several sheets uh, indicating in plan and elevation uh, uh, drawings for the addition that is proposed to the single family residence. I see Mr. Driscoll has joined us. Welcome, Mr. Driscoll. Um, all of uh, these materials are on file with the Board of Appeals available to public inspection at the uh, at the at the town hall. Um, uh, getting those introductory matters, uh, 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 having dealt with those introductory matters, let me ask, um, perhaps Mr. Hoffman, if you're prepared to, uh, make a presentation on behalf of the applicant, uh, welcome yeah, thank to you, the Board Mr. of Chairman. Appeals. Um, again, my name is Glenn Hoffman. Um, I work for GPH Design in Milton, Massachusetts. Um, the project, the existing home is a existing colonial style home, pretty, um, common in that area. And, uh, the proposed project would add a approximately 1,986 square feet off the rear of the home. The first floor addition would be 1,288 square feet. The second floor addition would be 698 feet. Um, the first floor of the addition is primarily a family room and a dining area. It's all open front, front to back and side to side. Um, there's no major deck in the back. It's just a small deck that gets you down to the patio area or the Yard. Um, as, as the chairman stated, we're um, an existing non conforming The existing house is non conforming 9.8 on the left side and 8.7 on the right side. We're proposing to go straight back from those um, side dimensions of the home. Yeah, the second floor of the house would be a uh, primary bedroom suite with a uh, bathroom and closet. Um, we believe the uh, we believe the proposed design is within context of the neighborhood and doesn't um, impose any hardship on any of the neighbors' houses. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'm here to answer. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. Thank you. Let me ask, uh, let me ask my colleagues, Mr. Gray and Mr. Conley, if they've got any questions of the applicant or of the owner. Sure. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. I Mr. guess Conley. I'm just curious. Have you um, 
did you have a chance or did Mr. Trisco have a chance to talk with um, your neighbors about the proposal before filing it and get any um, feedback or reaction from your neighbors? Uh, I don't know if you guys can see me, so I apologize if I'm supposed to be showing my face. I can't figure it out on Zoom. Uh, yeah, a lot of our immediate neighbors were aware that we were doing this planning. Uh, we live on a pretty busy street, Gulliver Street, so we didn't get in touch with every single one of them. But for our immediate neighbors, the um, Carthys and the uh, Coughlins, who are kind of those of the lots that would touch our fences, uh, they were aware of our plans for the addition. And uh, we've been in touch with them about the plans. We've shown them the plans. So in terms of our immediate neighbors, we've been in touch with them a lot. Uh, but I can't say that I've been in touch with every single neighbor in Gulliver Street uh, due to the a large population of homes um, on the street. Okay, that's great. And then were the um, were any of your neighbors have any uh, objections or uh, you know problems or uh, concerns about the proposal? I don't think so. I think that it was sort of like the typical, like once they learned of the plan, there was questions about, you know, if we were to, if we were to go forward, like making sure that the, keep into account, like, you know, like there's a lot of flooding on Gulliver street. So that was just something that everyone's concerned about. So it was a lot of those things. Um, and then I did explain, you know, what the plans were, uh, you know, Glenn did a great job drawing up the plans. So I, I shared those with the direct neighbors and they could see that the plans were not to, go out any further than the house is today uh, towards their homes. It was just to go directly back um, towards the towards the high school. So, um, you know, I think it was just kind of like the typical run of the mill questions whenever someone's doing an addition, but nothing, nothing major after we showed them the plans. Okay. Um, and I guess the last since you, you brought up drainage, um, could you tell us, um, have you, you know, what your plan is and if you've, addressed it so you won't be adding any drainage to your neighbor's lots? Yeah, so the plan would be, you know, to make sure we would do something like the French drain and to also make sure that the, the landscaping after we, after if we were to, you know, to do it would be to angle it in a way that would not impact the neighbors. So very cognizant of that. Um, so, you know, we assured them that we would do everything we possibly could to uh, not impact their current uh, lifestyle. Yeah, I don't think there would be an increase in the current drainage there now. It would all be contained within Sean's lot. Okay. Okay, great. I don't have any other questions. Thank you. Mr. Gray. <laughs> oh, it, 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 help me understand the difference in massing as viewed from the side lots. It, 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 is the current addition only like one story and the new addition going to be two, two stories? Is that is that what I'm seeing on the plans? No, you're seeing a two-story addition off the back and a uh, extension of the garage on the side. That's the one-story addition. It's a two-story addition directly off the back. Are there any of the pictures that you submitted of the existing dwelling or the, ele the yes. elevations, I mean? Yeah, there are there existing, there are 2.00 shows the existing house. Okay, I got that. I see that now. So I'm comparing 2.00 with 2.01. Can you, like, take me through the differences there? Well, the front what, what, what I'm driving so, well, at is it looks, to me, it looks to me like, as viewed from the side, the addition is significantly more massive than what's there now. Is that is that is that what I'm seeing? I don't. I mean, I, I, I don't want I, to call it massive, but I'm it's not the of one significantly more massive. It's the yeah, same it, height. It's, it's the same height as the house, but it's not the same height as the addition that's being removed. The the back of the current. No, I think, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I understand. Yeah, no, the addition off the back is just a, the the current build out off the back is just a small small room. It's not a large addition at all. I'd have to go to my demo plan to give you a size for that. But yeah, the, obviously the addition off the back is definitely larger than the larger. So what is, the, the demo? Yep. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No, that's right. I'm just saying it is obviously the addition is significantly larger than the small room that's off of, currently off the back of the house. And 
Mr. Driscoll, what did the neighbors, uh, your immediate abutters on your left and right side say about that? Did they have any comments about that, about the massing of the, of what they're uh, going to be looking at now? No, I, I actually think they were kind of my inspiration because I go over their homes a lot and that's sort of exactly what they did. They, they went straight back from their existing house, uh, two floors to get oh. more space. So the um you know the house to my left is a direct replica of my house so we're we basically mimic the addition to to basically be the exact same as theirs and the house to really my right that's is, really sorry. sorry sorry to interrupt you that's a really important piece of information because part of what can help us make a decision on this is the question of whether or not what your your project is doing is substantially similar to other houses in the neighborhood it's not out of character so your your testimony is that it's it's very it, in fact it's it's yes, yes. so much in character of what the neighborhood is you're basically duplicating what what your neighbors your other neighbors have done or it's similar to what they've done i don't want to say duplicating yeah correct and not only that but all there's a lot of homes on the street Basically, Gulliver Street, if you ever drive down it, there's only two types of homes. Yeah. And a lot of the homes are the exact same as mine. Like, we're, we're basically mimicking the additions that we, we see up and down the street. So that was, that was the inspiration, was to, you know, add an addition, but keep it in line with all the other homes that are, have already done an addition on the street. So I think I, I'm trying to answer your question. Like, it, it wasn't to go anything different than what we see on the street today. That's that's really helpful. Thank you so much. I don't have any further questions. Thank you, Mr. Gray and Mr. Conley. Let me ask. Um, let me ask you what what uh, what is the uh, what's driving the need for the addition in the first place? Uh, what was driving the need for the addition was three children under three and to get more space. Uh, three bedrooms. Uh, so we have. You know, two boy, two a son who's three, a son who's six months, and a daughter who's two. So, we're going to need um, additional bedrooms. So, and then our, you know, our living space just feels tight today compared to when we go into our neighbors' homes and see all the room that they have. So, what drove, what drove the motivation was to um, to get what the others other neighbors have today, or similar. So how, how many bedrooms does the house currently have? Uh, three. Sir. How many will it have at the with the addition? Four. Four. All right. And when when are you proposing to complete the work? Um, the the work would be tentatively scheduled to you know start in the summer and probably complete towards the winter months. And when it's finished, is it uh, will it be uh, uh, finished in a way where the building has a the same facade, the same building materials, the same clapboards or shingles, uh, the yep. roof common color, et cetera. Yeah. Give us an idea of whether or not in the completed state, it will appear as if the uh, property has um, been added added on to or will it have a seamless appearance? I'll take this, Sean. Yeah, as right. indicated in the elevations, the, the material is exactly the same as the existing house. It's, it's foreign, foreign club outside. The color will be similar. If not, if it's a, let me put it, if it's going to be a new color, the house will be one color. We're not going to have multiple colors. About the roof, that's well shingle. We you better put a new roof on, or you're going to have one old roof and one new roof. Uh, the plan would be to redo the entire roof. Okay. Um, I, I don't have any further questions. Uh, are there any other clarifying, is there any other clarifying testament, testimony that you'd like to offer the board at this time? Um, no, I'm good, Sean. Do you, uh, do you have anything to add? Uh, I would no. just add that we, we are under the area requirement too. So we have not gone over, we haven't exceeded what's allowed the area around the house. Thank you. Let me ask if there's one other question. Um, and just, just to call just, your uh, thank you. The your rear yard abuts, I think it's a Gila Field and behind the high school. And did you get any feedback um from the parks department or from um the high school uh with any concerns or objections? 
I did not know. Thank you. Mr. Gray, further questions? Thank you very much. Let me ask if there's anybody in the audience who'd like to speak in favor of the application. Is there any so, such person? I can't really tell. It doesn't look like anybody's here, but do I? is there a way for me to know that? Bill? I don't see any hands. Bill, do you know if there's anybody else on this call except for the... Yep, People there's a see. Ken Ryan, but I don't see that he's raised his hand to speak. Okay. Uh, is, is there anybody in the audience who'd like to speak uh, in opposition to the application? Bill? Nope. No, uh, no hands raised. Okay. All right. So hearing none, we've uh, we've we've heard from the applicant. We've questioned and answered from the members of the Board of Appeal. We've we've asked for testimony in support or in opposition to the applicant. Applicant. We've completed the evidentiary portion of the hearing. I'm prepared to close that portion of the hearing and and debate the merits of the application in accordance with the open meeting law. Um, we ask, um, which we'll do right now. Uh, let me ask uh, Mr. Connolly if he if you'd like to weigh in on the merits of the application. Um, sure. The, um, I'm happy that the applicant discussed the matter with um, the applicant's neighbors. Uh, here is there's no objections been from any of the neighbors that have been, none have been filed with us and the applicants represented that none were raised with the applicant and also no uh, feedback from the parks department or school department regarding impacts on the field um and uh helpful um, testimony that the expansion of the house is going to resemble the character of the adjacent property um and so the um you know feels to me that this is a applicant application that can satisfy the findings that we need to make thank you mr gray uh, thank you mr mullen um yeah, this is a the the type of application that we get very often in in the town of Milton with the you know in this neighborhood and in others where the lots are very small and the houses were built in an earlier time obviously and need to be updated and um, you know from my own observation uh, in this neighborhood and in others I, I, this is an addition that's in keeping with. Um, the type that we see very often and uh the amount of the relief being requested i think it's a tenth of a foot on one side and 1.4 feet on the other is is not um it doesn't seem to me to be burdensome so i i i would and, and given that there's no opposition from the neighbors that's very important as well uh, i would i would tend to support the application yeah i agree with both of my colleagues it's a de minimis uh, uh relief that's being requested for a, uh, a, 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 a a handsome improvement. I think the application was well presented. It has merits and I'm prepared to also support the application. Let me ask my colleagues if they're prepared to vote at this time. All in favor of the variances requested? Say aye. 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 Okay, so the variance has been unanimously granted, Mr. Driscoll. Congratulations to you and your wife. Let me um let me say a, cu a couple of things. Um, we've got a, a there's a, there'll be a twenty day appeal period from the date that the application is filed with the town clerk. We will work with with Mr. Donnelly to get an applic to get our decision consistent with this hearing complete and and filed with the town clerk. Following that, you'd have the twenty day appeal period, and you'll you know, it will issue, and then we'll ask that you record the variance at the Norfolk County Registry of Deeds in Dedham, at which point the variants will run with title to the property. Um, the other thing we'll ask is that you'll be required to perform, to complete the improvements within one year of the date of the granting of the variance or the variance variances will lapse. Um, other than that, we wish you, uh, unless you have questions, uh, we wish you good luck with your improvements and we ask that you coordinate your work through the, with the board through through uh, Mr. Donnelly, who's proven tonight that he's more than capable of supporting the board. And I thank Mr. Donnelly for his uh, assistance. Um, this is the first time I've had a hearing with Mr. Donnelly. So thank you very much.
Uh, any further questions or business for the Board of Appeals tonight? Any questions by the applicant or any of the members? No, nope. uh, thank you for your, thanks for having me on, appreciate it. You're welcome, Mr. Driscoll. I'm a little disappointed that I, I thought I was gonna get a chance to see Glenn Hoffman, but. Can Probably have a higher battery average than he had. And he was pretty good, he's in the show, what can you say, you know? We're no, dating yeah. ourselves, we're all dating ourselves right now. We are yeah, dating ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gentlemen. Well, thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Talk to you soon. Right, thank you very evening. much. Uh, uh, good luck to you all. All right. Thank you. Good night. Uh, the, we'll. Uh, we'll. Uh, uh, the the hearing is uh, 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 over. Thank you very much. Bye now. Adjourned. All right. Bye now. Adjourned. <laughs> good night, all.